Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me framing the uh, Diamond Art Club Hipster Boston Interior diamond painting I did about a month ago. I thought I would record the process for um, anyone else who is interested in doing the same thing as me, which is use the uh, magnetic poster frames. You can find them on Amazon. They're a lot cheaper than getting um, custom frames or regular frames. So. Alright, I just got done taking a lint roller to the back of the canvas to get any pet hair or dust or anything else that accumulated on the back of it. And then here is the actual magnetic poster frame. Now if you have a smaller painting, you may not have to hot glue it down onto the canvas, but because mine was a little bit heavier, I did have to glue it down and you will see that later on in the video. Right now I'm lining up the frame to where I want it to be when I actually glue it onto the canvas and I'm just making sure it's right up next to the first line of drills so that there's no space in between the actual diamond painting and the white canvas. And then I'm just going to take my pen and mark where that is. Here I'm just repeating the process on the top, lining it up right up next to the blue color and making sure there's no white showing and then marking it with my pen. Now I'm just going to use the frame to make a crease in the canvas where I want to fold it back and hot glue it. Now on to the scary part, the hot gluing it. <laughs> so I found it best to kind of, you have to go really quick and just do a very small amount. You do not need a lot and you want to make sure it's not bumpy. So just do very quick back and forth motions all the way down to the bottom of the painting. And then I'm just going to cut along the lines that I made earlier. When it came to actually hot gluing the frame onto the canvas, I at first tried to put the hot glue directly on the frame and then pushing it down on the canvas. And that worked pretty well because I worked fast. But on the other side, I decided to try to use the short quick motions all the way across the, um, the bottom like I did with the sides. However, I stopped halfway and then put more glue on the other half. And that was okay. It wasn't, it was a little nerve wracking. I wouldn't try that again. Um, and you'll see when I do the top, I just did the short quick motions all the way across and I just pressed it down and that seems to be the best method for putting it on and the most um, secure. And it's done! I think it turned out great. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love how the black wood matches the black fur of the Boston Terrier. I think it looks so cute and yeah, I highly recommend using these poster frames. Again, I'll link them down below. We've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I helped you in some way and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.